In this video, let's take a look at the file name conventions that Create React App follows with respect to Jest. Up until now, we have created our tests in a .test.tsx file. As it turns out, we are not restricted to just that file name convention. With Create React App, Jest will look for test files with any of the following popular naming conventions. Files with .test.js or test.tsx suffix. Files with .spec.js or spec.tsx suffix. Files with .js or .tsx suffix in double underscore tests double underscore folders. And this can be located at any depth in the source folder. The recommendation is to always put your tests next to the code they're testing so that relative imports are shorter. Let's head back to VS Code and quickly test these file name conventions. Now we already have the first file name convention in place, which is .test.tsx. Let's proceed with the second convention, that is .spec.tsx. In the same greet folder, I'm going to create a new file called greet.spec.tsx. I'm going to copy paste the code from .test.tsx into .spec.tsx. Save the file. And we can see tests from both the files picked up and executed by Jest. Two test suites, four passed. Let's now try the last one, which is a file in the double underscore tests folder. In the source folder, I'm going to create a new folder. Double underscore tests, double underscore. Within this folder, I'm going to create a new file called greettest.tsx. Let me copy paste the test from greet.spec.tsx and update the greet components path. Import greet from dot dot slash components slash greet slash greet. If we now save the file, we see three test suites and six tests have passed. Each test suite corresponds to .test.tsx, .spec.tsx, and greet test in the double underscore tests folder. This is about the file name convention of Create React App and Jest. While we're on this topic, let me quickly go through an alternative to the test method. With Jest, you can either use test or it global methods. In .spec.tsx, I'm going to replace test with it. So it renders correctly and it renders a name. If we save the file, the tests continue to execute. And if you want to replicate, test.only, you can use FIT. This will focus on a particular test. To replicate test.skip, you can use XIT to temporarily exclude the test from being executed. Now it does not matter if you prefer test or it, but you will come across a code base where they use it and not test, so I wanted to make sure you're aware of this. I personally don't have a preference, but since Create React App gives us app.test.tsx out of the box with the test method instead of it, I have chosen to continue using test. Please feel free to use either one of them. All right, let me quickly summarize what we have learned. We have learned that apart from .test.tsx, Create React App with Jest also supports Dot spec dot tsx and files written in double underscore test folder for testing. Apart from that, 
We also learned it method can be used as an alternative to the test method. We can use FIT as a replacement for test only and XIT as a replacement to test.skip. Now I don't want to confuse you with additional files in this series. So let me delete dot spec dot tsx and the test folder. All right, if this is clear, join me in the next video where we will learn about code coverage with Jest. Thank you for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.